One of the stories in the book Hope, Faith and Empathy is called Family and it's about Saul, one of 11 children who go away to residential school and he talks about over 50 years that that day they got on the ferry they haven't all been together again. And he only spent a short time at residential school before being placed in the tuberculosis hospital for having TB. While he was in that hospital, one of the nurses noticed that he would count the tiles on the ceiling and he would count how many frames were in the room. And so she started to talk to him about his love for numbers and his mathematic gift. And she brought in her son's algebra book and worked with him about his math and was able to actually take him out of the TB hospital and have him write his GED at his son's school at her son's school. And so he graduated from high school prior to anybody else in his family and went on to be the accountant in his band office back home in his remote community. And so that story to me reflects that although he had a short experience at residential school, it was in the TB hospital that his resiliency and that somebody cradled him. Somebody saw the gifts that he'd been blessed with and how to foster those. And she was empathic towards his situation in that hospital and the gifts that he'd been blessed with and how to foster those.